Do you know your patterns? And also, you know what your strengths are. You, you know, really important to know where your dispersions are. Greetings guys, Sai here, and welcome back to Project Left. So ahead of the big match, I'm gonna have a little look today at driver dispersion. We're gonna hit 20 shots with each driver, right-handed and left-handed, and have a look at how that's gonna affect my choice of aiming when I get on the course. So we need to get this unlocked. It's a seriously windy day. Let's go. Okay, all set up, ready to go. Gonna go right-handed first. Slight change, I'm only gonna hit 15 balls now. That's because the GCT software shows 15 shots on one page, so when we talk through the screenshot later on, it's gonna be easy for you guys to see. Basically, the GCT is set up the join in the two nettings here on the right-hand side is where it's aimed right-handed, so that's gonna be my starting aim, and obviously the software will see where everything disperses to. Disperses to. Dis disperses, that's the word. Disperses to. Right, let's go. Ooh, right, now for left. Let's go home and digest it all. Right, okay then, so back home, let's have a look through that information. Okay, so let's have a quick look through right-handed first of all. It's the far right-hand column that we're looking at in terms of dispersion. Not really too fussed about the other numbers. Obviously, I'm using range balls, so the balls aren't quite gonna go as far as possible, but it's that dispersion left and right really is what I'm looking at. How big that is, and if there are any patterns. So if you look down this column, it's a mixture of left and right, so L's and R's at the end there, but certainly the R's generally are bigger. So you've got 34 yards right in there, you've got 20, 22 yards, 29 yards, and you've got some 27 and 28 yards left. So there's quite a bit of a difference in there. And this is what I often see with driver when I test it. I hit the ball quite a nice long way, but it doesn't always go in a straight line. I certainly miss left and right, and that's something that is really gonna potentially become an issue when we play the big match. So let's have a quick look at left-handed, and then we'll go back into what my findings really mean to me for the strategy for the big match. So looking here at left-handed, and obviously my ability left-handed is lower, and there's a big 40-yard right in there, um, but it's mostly rights that I see as my miss. There's a couple of big lefts in there, which is actually a really big improvement for me because I used to miss everything off to the left, not being able to get that club face squared up and with that toe strike as well with the face open, I often saw them go off to the left there. Now I'm still striking them out the toe, but because that club face is getting squarer, I'm getting more of that gear effect, which makes the ball go off to the right in that sort of low hooky type looking shot. So in conclusion, I think that I'm gonna be using quite a lot of drivers right-handed just simply for the distance that it gives me and the potential advantage that distance will give me. Obviously right-handed distance is important, but actually for me in the match, accuracy is gonna be the biggest thing for me off the tee. Because I'm 20 yards long with my irons, I'm gonna be hitting shorter irons in, even if I don't hit the ball quite so far off the tee. So I imagine you're gonna see quite a few four irons, maybe some three woods off the tee, although you know what my history's like with three wood. I do feel like I'm gonna to top it every time I use it, so we shall see how that works out, having not played the game for too long. But four irons are certainly gonna be the play for me off the tee especially around Berry, and especially because the tees are a little forward this time of year in winter tee positions trying to save those back tees for the summer season. So in conclusion, basically what I'm saying is that it's really important that you know your dispersions, you know your patterns, and also you know what your strengths are. If your strength is that you hit your driver nice and straight, then use it, use it as often as possible. If you're someone like me that does hit the ball a nice long way, but is often quite wayward with driver, then actually you need to know when it's worth taking that risk. For me, the risk will come on the back nine when I'm trying to hopefully push ahead either for a right-handed win or to try and get back if left-hand is quite a long way up. 
In terms of left-handed, I'm gonna be hitting driver most of the time, certainly on the back nine, and quite a few times less on the front nine, simply because I know I can get that three wood or that five wood into play with the shots that I'm gonna be receiving left-handed, and that will hopefully help me to get ahead left-handed, and then the back nine, when distance is something more of a benefit, then maybe we'll see right-handed come back. But we don't know guys, that is half the fun of this and this is why I'm looking forward so much to playing that big match, just to see what happens. How am I gonna cope? How am I gonna cope swapping between left and right-handed? How am I gonna cope with all the pressures that match play brings? Normally in match play, you only have one side of the pressure. You don't have to deal with putting pressure on yourself to then achieve the pressure that's been put on by your opponent. I think that's gonna be quite difficult, and I think just that constant switching between left and right hand shot after shot after shot after shot could prove quite difficult. It's gonna be interesting to see, and I hope you guys are all looking forward to it. So there's a couple more promo bits coming up before the big match gets released on Boxing Day. So comment below, I really wanna hear your thoughts on the big match, who you think is gonna win, any predictions and also any questions and comments about this big match. I'm gonna be holding a mock press conference, hopefully live across social media before the big match happens. So stay tuned to all the PGA Live 365 social media channels for more on that. If you wanna get any questions in for that press conference, either below in the comments or contact us on social media and we'll get to that. All that's left to say is this was another episode of Project Left. I'm Simon and we'll see you down here on PGA Live 365 next time. Oh. And know where your clubs go. You, you know, really important to know where your dispersions are. See you next time.